angel is saying to you, may you walk boldly in faith today with godly confidence knowing your day has been commanded by the Lord and He has ordered your steps. May every disappointment become His appointment to renew, revive, replenish, restore, and strengthen you, awaken in truth, arise in faith, advance in courage. For the Lord your God is with you. Have a faith-filled day. Amen. True peace comes from knowing God is in control. Stay blessed. Gracious Lord, in all I do, I pray for your wisdom and guidance. I entrust you with all of my daily tasks. Assist me in making the best judgments possible in life. Teach me to recognize and comprehend the advantages and disadvantages of anything I do. Guide my decisions so that I always make the best choices that will lead me closer to my life's purpose. Assist me with letting go of what isn't working in my life. Teach me to concentrate on what will bring me happiness in you. Thank you very much for responding to my prayers. You might not be able to see where you're headed, but I assure you, the Lord can. And He's holding your hand. He's breathing life into every aspect of your present and future. He's shining His light even in the darkest corners of your mind. So hold tight to Him. Hold tight to His love, knowing that He will never leave you or forsake you, and because of Jesus, you are in his grip forever. No uncertainty, no broken dreams, and no fear of the future can keep you from him. He is with you always in all of this. Trust him, believe, and let him gracefully lead you where you need to be. Lord Jesus, heal me. Heal my memory. Heal my heart. Heal my emotions. Heal my spirit, heal my body, heal my soul, heal me from whatever separates me from you. Amen? Jesus said, One who has my commandments and keeps them, that person is one who loves me. One who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and will reveal myself to him, everlasting Father. Thank you for the blessings and mercies you have bestowed upon me. Thank you for your protection and guidance. As we begin a new month, I pray that you, Lord, will assist me in focusing my thoughts on you and remaining in you. Name. Help me in living a Christ-centered life. Allow your Holy Spirit to lead me in whatever I do. Let it serve as a constant reminder to always put you first no matter what. Help me to study your word more thoroughly and to gain the wisdom and understanding necessary to apply it in my life. When things don't go as planned, please remind me that your plan for me is better. As each day passes, Please strengthen my faith that you made me the way I am. I know that my birth was not an accident. I also know that you made me achieve certain goals. I want to know my direction right now. I want to know which route I should take next. I want to be the best version of myself. I pray for your guidance and wisdom to know what my next route should be. I want to live to please you and be an instrument in your hand. I don't want to be a liability in this life. Help me find the path that will lead to success. Keep me from decisions that will tarnish my image and destroy my life. Help me know each day what my next adventure is going to be. Let me be a symbol of courage and positivity everywhere I find myself. Show me your light in times of darkness. Let me choose right every time. Let me dwell on the path you have set for me, and let me live in your eternal glory. I face situations and decisions. 
It's complicated and dense. I feel confused and lost. First of all, O oh Lord, calm my heart. Let me know that my peace depends upon you alone. No matter how things turn out, with you at the center of my life, I will stand. I will survive. May your spirit keep me balanced. Lord, show me your will. Let my mind and heart be open to what best serves truth and life. Give me courage to do what is right. Show me your word. Reveal it to my heart, O Lord, and make my conviction strong. For when I go to you and you show me your will, the blessing is guaranteed. It may not be easy, it may take time, but upon Christ I stand firm. You might not be able to see where you're headed, but I assure you, the Lord can. And He's holding your hand. He's breathing life into every aspect of your present and future. He's shining His light even in the darkest corners of your mind. So hold tight to Him. Hold tight to His love, knowing that He will never leave you or forsake you. And because of Jesus, you are in His grip forever. No uncertainty, no broken dreams, and no fear of the future can keep you from Him. He is with you always in all of this. Trust Him. Believe and let Him gracefully lead you where you need to be. Heavenly Father, as I begin this new day, I humbly approach you with gratitude for the love and grace you've showered upon me. I appreciate the strength you've provided to overcome the challenges I encounter daily. The uncertainties of today are known. I trust you to answer my prayers. Through Jesus Christ, I am so grateful to see every opportunity that this day would bring. Thank you for waking me up to see one more day. May you bring your peace and calm to all my situations. May my life produce your love, bring healing and good health. Bless me to be in good cheer. Be my guide everywhere I go and in everything I do. Let no evil befall me. Send your angels and protect me and my loved ones. Thank you for rescuing me from every trap and being my refuge. Go before me and set my path. I love and trust you, Lord. Thank you that your hope never disappoints me, because your love has been poured out to me through the power of the Holy Spirit. I know I can face this day with faith and confidence and with my head held high because you are my help and shield. May I truly know the hope you have called me to and the glorious inheritance I have through you. Thank you that because my hope is in you, I will not be put to shame. You need patience. I will provide you with patience. It is okay to be angry, but it is not okay to sin in the process. Relax and take a deep breath. I love you. I am orchestrating every detail of your life. I am ordering your steps. Nothing just happens. There are no coincidences. The season I held you back was for your protection. This is the season where I am opening doors. This is the season where I am bringing the right people in your life and removing the wrong ones. As long as you seek me daily, I will protect you from danger and put a prompting in your spirit, letting you know when it's time to take a step of faith. Trust me. You're about to receive a harvest of blessings. I am honoring the seeds you have sown, the prayers you have prayed, the worship you have offered, the sacrifices you have made, and the perseverance you have shown. Get ready. An outpouring of blessings are coming your way. 
I praise you for the gift of another day, for your mercies new each morning. My eyes are open and my heart is beating. Each of those means you have a plan for me. Will you lead me? Jesus, I need you. Will you order my steps? Each one may your love flow through me, and may I embrace every opportunity to share your love with others. There are so many distractions, problems, sufferings, and so on. If we keep our eyes on you, we can tell every trouble that we are facing how big our God is. Yes, as you overcome the world, we will do so with you. And when we think that we can't take it anymore, you will give us rest. Your plan is bigger than our struggles and fears. May we show to the world whom our God is, because you are the one whom this world needs the most. I pray that we continue to rely on you because there is abundance in total reliance on you. By focusing on you, we will know what love really is. Thank you that according to your word, you will watch over our coming and going both now and forevermore. Every day, God thinks of you. Every hour, God looks after you. Every minute, God cares for you. Because every second, He loves you. Don't panic. I am with you. There is no need to fear. I will give you strength. I will help you. I, your God, have a firm grip on you and I am not letting go. My child, you are worrying too much. Remember who I am. There is nothing too hard for me. You may not see it, but I have everything planned out for you. Just wait until you see the blessing behind this battle. You'll see soon. God is going to do something amazing in your life this month. I don't know what you've been praying about or what has had your pillows soaked with tears, but I am here today to tell you that God has heard your prayers. His angels have been dispatched, and you will see your miracle soon. I declare you will see your health turn around for the good. You will surprise the doctors. You will get the job. Your job is to act and speak like it's going to happen. Walk by faith, not by sight. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Often, God will give us things in life to test us. Such testing is designed for us to be strengthened. Every time we do any type of exercise, we are strengthening our bodies. We actually strengthen our muscles by tearing them down. Most exercises are developed in a way that tears down so that our bodies can rebuild stronger. That's the whole purpose of a test or exercise, and such is the same in our spiritual lives. I wish I could have lived while Jesus was alive. I want to know what it's like to stand next to the only man who is both fully God and fully man. I want to look him in the eye and feel everything that I've read so much about. I want to reach out my hand and be healed completely just from the touch of his robe. I want to have a long conversation with the one who knows, well, literally everything. Imagine the advice he would give you. I've never wanted anything more than to know Jesus while he was human. Although I dream of this, I know that he is still walking right beside me, whether or not he is physically here. I can still feel his presence and the love that I read about daily. 
This gives me hope for the future that one day in heaven, I will get to run up to him with arms wide open and hug the man who saved humanity. I used to think that living a life for Christ was doing things that I don't want to do in order to bring him glory. But God has shown me otherwise. Living for him is simply living with him. It's choosing to lean on him and pursue the relationship before anything else. In that, he will change your heart, making you want to be bold for him and do say the things that once made you uncomfortable. It's not embracing the uncomfortable, but embracing him and watching him change your definition of comfortable. Having a relationship with God is like being friends with a senior when you're a freshman. It makes you feel like the coolest person in your class. You are friends with the guy who spoke the world into existence. You're friends with the guy who parted the sea for Moses. You're friends with the guy who literally did the impossible and defeated death. Doesn't that make you feel special? That he, of all people, wants to know you? Want to be with you? That just blows my mind every day. Subscribe our channel to help us reach 100 subscribers. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.